protected this country after 9-11. George Tenet is a first-generation Greek. I guess he's a shitholer. Jose Rodriguez was the head of counterterrorism at CIA. He's a Puerto Rican. I guess he's not welcome. I'm proud today. I'm proud to be a shitholer, and I want a t-shirt. Hashtag, I am them. Proud. It's us. I'm proud, yeah. Let's stand against this and say, it's not about black people, and it's not about white people from Norway. It's about the people who built America, and he, we denigrated until we became ashamed, and we realized that's inappropriate, and we're learning the lesson again today. I gotta tell you, you know, I said that I'm not outraged by this, and that, but others, others should be. Everyone yeah. can't be outraged. It's not my position to be outraged. Yeah. But what you said brought tears to my eyes because it's just so offensive. And for, I can't see how anyone can make excuses for that. This is about pure racism. That's, that's all it is. And to say otherwise, it's either being in deep denial are you being cunningly, cunningly deceiving? I've seen these Except. conversations that this is economic, so let's be clear. A white honky from Norway can come here, but a black dude from Haiti can't. What does that tell you in an America that one that, that in one generation called you a nigger? What does that tell you, Don? I can tell you that what, what that tells a honky like me. We're no different than we were a generation ago, and we're learning the same lessons that we learned when we call the Chinese man a slant eye, when we call the man from Guatemala a spick and a wetback, and we call the black man a nigger. That's what it tells me. We got a ways to learn, but we can step back and say we're proud because I spoke this on CNN. 30 to 1, the emails I got were saying, you speak for us, and we are not from Africa, and we're not from Norway, we're from Italy, we're from Ireland, we're from Greece. Every single one of them was from a place where they would say, hey, hashtag, I'm one of them.